This is Graduate Model Academic Enhancement School, GMAT 41. You are welcome to our introduction to calculus class. In this video, we direct our attention to relations and functions. These two terms are terms that are similar, all right, but not wholly the same. What is a relation? On the board, we will have this short definition to relation, okay? A relation R from a non-empty set A to a non-empty set B is a subset that belongs to the Cartesian product A cross B. That is, if you have A cross B, a relation is a subset of that A cross B. In a case where you transfer or map out elements from set A to set B, you will see that whatever you have in set A, and whatever you have in set B will be a subset of A cross B together. There is some important point here you need to know some terms that have been spotted out. Terms like the domain, the range, the co-domain. Now, the set of all first elements of the ordered pairs in a relation is simply called domain. There is a say when you have this set from A to B, the set of all first elements is called the domain. Then we also have what we call the set of all second elements. Because in most cases, the set of all first elements will produce the set of all second elements. And the set of all second elements is called the range. The set of all second elements is called what? The range. When we use diagram to explain this concept, this will become even more clearer. But just relax. We are still trying to like talk about what this relation is grammatically. All right, now we have what we we'll call the codomain. The codomain simply represents all the element in set B. All the elements in set B, we call it the word codomain. Now, it is important for you to know that the range is part of the codomain. Why the codomain is everything in B? The range is a subset of those things in B, which are produced from A. I don't know if that makes sense there. See, A, the set in A, or the elements in A, produce something in B. Those things that are produced, or those elements that are produced in B, are called the range. The set of the element produced in B are called what? The range. And those elements are produced as a result of what? The elements in A. Now, everything in B is called the codomain. But some inside the codomain is called what? The range. There is, of course, note here on the board that range is always a subset of codomain. That is, it's part of codomain. All right, we'll talk about function, also known as mapping, all right, which we represent as this. We read this as function is such that x is mapped to y or assigned to y. The reading is written here. You can just go through that. So a function from a set x into a set y is simply a relation which assigns to each element x a unique element y. You see, this element x is element of set x, and then this element y is element of set y. You know that usually we represent set with capital letter, and then there are elements with small letter. Now we have this example on the board here. Just imagine we have this set x and this set y. This set x contains this element x, and then this contains this element y. You can now see a line drawn from x to what y. This simply means that you have assigned to x. A value y. That's what it simply means. So this is what we call a function. Please take note here that we say that a function is a relation. So what does that tell us? All functions are relation. But did you know? Not all relations are function. So how can we identify a function? How can we say that okay, this relation is a function? In the next video, we're going to talk about that and explain more the concept of domain, codomain, range, and of course, image. So on the part here, we have conditions for a relation to be a function. It's important for you to know we have these three conditions here. 
because not all relations are functions. But although we know that all functions are relations, we can go through that. We are going to use this to find out how we can actually get to know what is a function and what is not. So we have this example, which is a function from here, ABC. Before we go into that, please, I am going to say something that will guide or say layman explanation to this that will quickly help us to know a relation that is a function. Now, I am going to ask you two questions. The first, is it possible for a son to exist without a biological father? It is not. Someone gave birth to the child. Alright? Which therefore means if we take the domain, we are going to take our domain as son. Son. It means that all the elements from domain must be marked. That goes with condition number one. Telling us that a son must have a father. Because we're going to take our co-domain as father. Is that okay? Alright, question number two. Is it possible for a son to have more than one biological father, maybe two or more biological fathers? Again, it is not possible realistically. Is that okay? A child must be given birth to by one father. So take note of that. What does that mean? It means that one element in the domain, which is your son now, cannot be marked to different elements in your co-domain, which is your father. You can have one element, one son, having two or more fathers. It's not possible. So let us quickly look at this. This first one, is it a function? I said no, it's not a function. The reason, simple. Look at son A is marked to father B and again marked to father N. It's not possible for a child, a son, to have two biological fathers. So this is just a simple interpretation to help us know quickly why this is not a function. You can see the condensed form. Because sometimes we choose not to really draw these diagrams. I get to mean, in fact, in most cases, you may not even see. You see them sometimes in condensed form like this or in equation form. Like this, the first one is your domain, the second is your co-domain. Alright, so the first is your son, the second is your what? Father. So you say A, comma B. Look at it. A, comma N. You can see that here. Alright? Son A having father B and here son A having father N. Different is not possible. Okay? Alright, look at the second one. Is this a function? No, it's not a function. The reason, there are some element from domain that was not marked. So it violated the first condition. Just saying that a child or son existing without father is not possible. Okay? This is a condensed form. Always make sure that you show the domain. You can see that the domain, but it doesn't have any co-domain attached. How can a son exist without a biological father? It's not possible. Then look at the third one. Is it a function? I say yes to that. The reason, every element in the domain here was marked. So all the sons here have uh, a father. And then uh, you notice, somebody may look at this and feel that uh, about four and six are marked to this five. It's possible in real life. A father, five, can have more than one child. Is that not so? So you see, son four and son six having the same father is possible in real life. Look at the condensed form. Do you notice that we didn't extend this? Because here, all the domains have been shown. You don't need to show the code domain. It's not so necessary here in the condensed form. Always remember our son-father relationship.